Hey yo, welcome back IB International Economic students to this video lecture. Today, we are going to go over the relationship between the current account and the financial account. So in our last videos, we have gone over uh, the factors and determinants of the current account, both positive current account and negative current account, as well as determinants of whether the current account is a surplus or deficit. Now, in our last video, we have also gone over, similarly, the uh, financial account. We have also gone over the negative and positive financial account, as well as other uh, relationships that contribute to a surplus or deficit. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about how these two accounts, okay, the current account and financial account is related, okay, and how these two accounts will work together in what we call the balance of payments. Now, this unit is what we call the balance of payments. Now, you may be very curious as to why, and that's a valid question. So, so the so the current account and financial account must always be in balance. Now, how does that look like when there is a surplus in uh one of the accounts? There must be a deficit in the other, and where there's a deficit in the other account, there must be a surplus in uh, the other account. So, for example, if we have a surplus in the current account, that we must 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 have a deficit in the financial account in order for it to be balanced. Now, similarly, if there is a, a, a deficit in the current account, then we must have a surplus in the financial account in order, okay, in order for uh, the balance of payments to occur. Now, the balance of payments will always occur, as, as we will explore later, and, and you will see why it will uh, always uh, be equal to each other. Okay, very good. Now, so, so, so in layman's terms, in simplest term, uh, right here is what it is, illustrates. If A is greater than B, okay, which is positive account is greater than a negative current, positive current account is greater than a negative current account, then B must be greater than C. The positive financial account must be greater uh, than negative financial account. Now, why is that? That's because current account surplus will always lead to a financial account deficit. Now, once again, if B is greater than A, if negative current accounts are greater than the positive current accounts, then C must be greater than D, okay? Then the negative financial accounts must be greater than uh, the positive financial accounts, which is what we call a financial account surplus, okay? So if there's a deficit in the current account, that there always, okay, there must be a financial account surplus. All right, so um, so 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 that, 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 that's basically it. Now, let's, let's, let's look at why this is the case. Let me give you an illustration. Let's say America and China. In a very highly simplified example, America and China. America has a deficit. Okay, America has a deficit in their current account. Why is that? That is because America exports less goods than it imports. Or in other words, America imports more goods than it exports. And China exports more goods than it imports. So America has a current account deficit and China has a current account surplus. Now, what happens to the cash flow? Okay. What happens to the money now that American money is injected into Chinese and into the Chinese economy? What happens to the money? Now, a couple of things may happen. Okay. China will have changes in the official reserves of foreign currency. Okay. So when America trades with China, China receives US dollars. So, the positive account will increase, okay, which causes uh the the which causes a deficit in the uh, 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 which causes a surplus in the financial account. Now, what do I mean by that? When 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 America trades with China, China receives a lot of U.S. dollars, which causes the changes in the reserves of foreign currency. So you, China has a lot more U.S. dollars now. Therefore, the negative financial account is now greater than the positive financial account. C is greater, okay. C is greater than D. That's what we call a surplus, okay? And in that case, uh, the, the accounts are balanced, okay? Now, how do we ensure that account is balanced? Let's look at this formula right here. A plus D, okay, plus C plus D, which is equal to the current account plus uh, the, fin the current account plus financial account must be equal to zero, okay? So in that case, uh, we will have a balance of payments. We have a balance in both the imports uh, in the cash flow of money. So, uh, yeah, that this is the uh, the relationship between the current account and the financial account. Is that it must always be balanced, and the current account plus the financial account must always become z uh, zero. And um, yeah, that's it. So, I hope this video is helpful, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.